G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to do a big bowl today. Um, I'm going to go again with the Elmer's School Glue. I know I've done a few of these now, same colours, you're probably getting sick of it, but I'm just trying to get uh, the cells that I want to get. So I thought, well, I'm doing it, I might as well video it so you guys can see my thought process. So Elmer's School Glue I'm using. 70% of that to 30% of water and then I've mixed my paints 50-50 so equal parts pouring medium to paint except for the blue. The blue I had to add um, more pouring medium. That one was 50 grams of 50 grams of pouring medium to 40 grams of paint. Uh, 70 to 70, 70 to 70, this one I only wanted a little bit because it's quite overtaking, it's 40 grams, 40 grams, 70, 70, so in all it should be 600 grams. And let's put some oil in, treadmill silicone again. Then the last one I had a mass of cells pop up. Now when I looked back on the video, when I dragged I'm thinking that it might be the friction of the paint rubbing against each other which is causing the cells to come up. The paints are reacting. So I'm going to just do one big flip cup and see if that makes any difference. When I do two cups, I always get that join in the middle that I really don't like. So let's try one. See what happens. It's just paint. I scraped the last one. Wasn't happy with it. But I will cut down a little bit on the oil as well. So I'll do two drops, oh that was two, in these smaller cups. Oh, you just got three. And three in the bigger ones. Instead of three and four, I'm going to do two and three. And hopefully that will be all right. It just seems that this oil is... Uh, the Glue seems to be quite reactive. And I won't stir it in quite as much. Still give it a good stir, but not go crazy like I have been with the last couple. Rightio! Now, I don't know how I'm going to layer this because obviously, you know, when I do this, I'm going to use a lot of paint. But let's just start and see what happens. So, some pink in the bottom. Well, my layers can be much bigger actually because I've only got, only got one container, so one layer, hey? Now I'll have two layers, but I should use half of what I've got in the first layer. I want to save a little bit for my corners. Maybe the plum. This is working all right, isn't it? I wasn't quite sure how it was going to work, but it seems to be getting a good coverage with half a cup of paint. It's probably just going to mix terribly once I flip this over. But I do like to experiment. I haven't got as much blue, so that's that one there. Back to the pink. And as we're going up, oh, I've still got some left. The um, mouth's getting wider. <laughs> I might have enough for three layers. We'll see what happens, eh? Yep, I'll have three layers. That's fine. They're still pretty thick layers. Layer upon layer. to see how this is going to work. I'm going to use all the blue here because there's not much left of it. Certainly not enough for another layer. So let's tip all that out. This blue is always a little bit thicker. There we go. All right, and back to the pink. Finish that off now. Actually, 
actually I want to do some do the corners so I'm gonna to have to add a little bit of paint to the corners and I was looking back on my best ever pour number 135 on the videos and I'm thinking what did I do differently then why can't I do it again and I look back on it and I tilted really slowly and I hardly poured any paint off so when I look back there was just a few little dribbles there not as huge big puddle of paint and I thought well that's obviously what I'm part of what I'm doing wrong I'm losing too much paint So I'm going to try and keep as much paint on the surface as I can. I'm going to do these two in the dark purple and then the opposite two in the dark plum. And then if I don't get to cover in those corners, it won't matter. I won't be too stressed about it. Now this one needs a little bit more paint. Why am I using my finger? Hey, why, why, why? I've got my little tool. That's what it's here for. Like so. I don't want to take too much paint off, do I? See, if you take too much off, then you can see the canvas underneath. So just be careful. Just enough to cover that. Beautiful. Okay, let's do another layer. Or what's left of it anyway. I hope I can flip this. I'm going to have to actually turn the canvas upside down and put it on top because there's no way I'm going to be able to flip this over without making a mess. I just don't think I can. I was all done with pouring today. I think I've done, oh, this is the fifth, I think. I was all done. I was sitting down watching... Well, my kitchen rules is about to start. I'm taping it. I thought, I just want to do one more. I just, it's frustrating me that I can't get this right. So, one more. It's nearly 8 o'clock at night. I do this. Watch my kitchen rules. Go to bed relatively early because I've got to go to work in the morning. work get in the way of playing hey it gets in the way of pouring it's just not there all right now I want to save a little bit of this plum for this corner and the side I'll just do some finger painting here for the side So when I looked back on that really good pour, I I didn't actually cover like I didn't pour over the corners or tilt over the corners I should say. I actually poured out my leftover paint onto the corners, and um, I didn't actually pour over them. I just left them the corners. So I'm thinking I've overstretched them. That's why it's good to, to have those videos. I look back on them and think, what did I do differently in this one? Why did it work? And then the other one didn't work. So I looked back on it, kept the majority of the paint on the surface, didn't tilt too much off, and didn't actually go over the corners. So I kept all that paint. So let's try and replicate that. If I don't get it, I'm not going to sleep tonight. I'm <laughs> just not. It's going to frustrate me when I can't do it. I do the same when I'm baking. I do a recipe and if it didn't work, then I change something and I do it again and I change something and I do it again and I have to keep doing it and doing it and doing it until I get it right. Which is very annoying, but I do the same with my painting. Just keep doing it and doing it until I'm happy with the result. And I've got my corner capture. I've got a stick, I've got 
got my little tool. I'm set to go. Oh, colours. I'll show you these before when I can tip the canvas over. Peacock. Plum. Rose. Uh, dioxazine purple. That's just in a spare container. Dioxazine and cool blue. Right. How am I going to do this? I'll hang on to that. Oh, I shouldn't have put it on there. It's made a dent. Actually, that's the other thing I need to do with this canvas. See, it doesn't have um, cross uh, cross beam thingy in the middle. So I need to put a pedal pad under there. Let me just draw this on so I know where it's supposed to go. I think that's about right. Just to stop the paint from, just a folded up pedal pad, just to stop the paint from um, sagging in the middle. Should be just enough to stop that from happening. Right, now I'm going to put that there and flip it over. Okay. So when I flip, I'll just flip that straight over. I'm not going to drag it. I'm going to try not to drag it anyway. Hopefully it won't all splurge over the edge. But that's enough of a puppy piddle pad under there. I can see it sagging under the weight of all that paint. Um, let's get something else. Just another little piece to go over it. Just want to make sure that it's not going to, to sag. Hopefully it's not too high now. We'll see what happens. All right, I sprayed my little plastic bowl with silicone, wiped it out with a paper towel. Oh dear. Why do I get nervous when I do these different sorts of pores? Because I don't want to go again, do I? I want to go to bed. If I don't get it right, I'm going to have to do it again. I'm going to be here till midnight. Oh dear. I'm sure you guys are getting sick of these colours by now. Okay, let's do this. Wish me luck. Oh, kind of made a bit of a swirly pattern in the middle. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so all the paint's pretty much come out of there. Just a bit of a shame that this is happening, I guess suction or I don't know who knows what happens inside the bowl but hopefully uh, once it's stretched and um, tilted I'm just looking at the cells see it's better when I dragged did you see the last video when I dragged I got like a hundred cells pop up straight away now I mean I could count these on two hands it's not that many That's making a bit of a dent that way. Not sure if that's going to be. I don't know. I'll leave it like that. I mean, I'd rather have it going over than going under. Can you see what it's doing when I lift it up? Maybe, I, maybe that green one that I've put in is a bit much. I'll take that out again. Fussing and fiddling, aren't I? Okay. Just want it to be enough to stop it from sagging. I don't want it to actually push up. So that should be all right. Now let's just move this just a little bit. And bring it back into the middle. Looks like I'm gonna have plenty of paint. Now I'll torch. Nice and high, don't go crazy now. Minimal cells, please. So I 
think it does make a difference as to whether you're dragging your cups or whether you're just flipping them because this certainly has made a difference. Definitely. Because those other two pours I did, they were both drags, weren't they? I dragged both of them. not to do too much torching that's really pretty there those dark plum cells I think I need a few more just here through here where it's a bit blobby and through here I'll try and get in there without getting too close to the others you can see those few coming up there I think I still need a few in here though the colour uh, blending's not too bad, is it? Considering I had a big, big bowl. So scared of getting too close. I'm getting, I'm too far away, and I'm not getting any reaction at all. Maybe. I wanted to see if there's anything else in here. Um, I like this half better. That was the bit that I dragged, or well, I flipped first, wasn't it? And this was the more blobby bit. That's really pretty there. Maybe I'll try and keep some of, most of that and then tip this bit off. Well, not all of it, but some of it. Oh, too close. Too close. Don't look at that. Okay, let's do it. Where will I start? Let's start at the very beginning. Let's do this corner. And as I said, if I don't get over that whole purple corner, so be it. What am I going to hold on to? I've got nothing to hold on to. There's no bar in the middle. I'm going to have to just try and hold it like this with one hand while I hold that with the other hand. Because there's no bar at the bottom for me to hang on to. Okay, it's nice and slow. Don't want to lose any off the sides. We're just going for the corner. For now, I'm saying I'm losing some off the sides though. Come back. I think I'll take some of this off, but when I come around to this corner, I should be able to take a little bit more off that because it's a, it's very pink down there. I'm going to leave that corner for now. And I'll do this corner next. Oh, it's so hard not being able to hold on to anything. Oh, here. I'll have to hold on up here for this one. moving the weight of the paint to where I want it to go. See some of that pink has fallen off already. I'll take that weight of it right back there before I let go so I don't lose too much. So that corner ended up being covered. Don't like how this is all 
because of the corner catcher, it's caught the paint and it's sort of stopped it from, from going. Um, I might have to deal with this bit before I go up there. So let's bring the paint back into the middle a little bit and see if I can just get a little, little bit of that off. And there's a bit of a wormy thing there, so he can go too. Just a bit off. Off you go, worm. All right, oh, see there's this big pink blob. I don't think I can take any more off. Here am I saying to myself, now don't take too much paint off. But I don't like that big pink blob there. Alright, that'll have to do. I might be able to come back to it later on. I just don't want to deplete my paint too much and then I haven't got enough left up here. All right, now I'll take it all the way back up here and off to that corner. I really love that section. So pretty. Don't want to lose this. I'll just pop that down for a minute while I get my corner catcher back in place. Oh dear, now where I hold it. I'm just going to have to pivot on the foot and hang on to this. That works. Look at that. Look what I'm doing. I'm hanging on to the big push pin. That works. Okay, I don't want to go over too much. Come back. That corner can just stay purple for now. Pretty, pretty. Got a few cells up here that are a little, little bit on the big side. But let me get the other corner first before I think about what I'm going to do over there. Hang on to this push pin. Seems like I've got an awful lot of pink here. I don't know why. Don't know why. I guess because it was in the bottom of the cup bowl. I'm going to let that go because some less attractive cells over here that I don't mind if they leave the building. Still got a lot of paint on the surface, haven't I? Look at it all. I don't know. It's just not quite what I was after again. This, my goodness, this is amazing. Imagine if it was all like that. It's just too much, too much pink. So this is the next morning. Um, the light was really bad in, in the studio at night. It kind of made everything look a bit yellowish. So I just stopped the video and take you down. A few hours later, still wet. Nothing's changed. But I've got better colour in here, so better light this morning. So I wanted to show you what it really looked like. So that's that beautiful corner that I really love. And this half of the painting is really quite pink. I'd like to do it again and reduce the amount of pink because I really, really love 
that uh, bottom right corner. So if I can get a whole painting in those colours, wouldn't that be awesome? If I did one in those colours. See, that's only got a little bit of pink in it, just enough to surround the cells. So, I'll probably do that again and get um, a darker painting. So what do you think? Happy with that one? All right, thanks for watching. I'll, uh, I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.